Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, we're going to be doing an overview of the Ant Miner Z9 Mini, and I'm kind of changing it up in the direction of ASIC miners now. I've done mobile tutorials I've, and reviews and things like that. I've done it for CPU and GPU, but now I'm kind of switching gears to ASIC miners, and we're kind of just going to take a look at like the power consumption, how much profit it makes, you know, how much it pulls in just the overall stats of the Antminer Z9 Mini in 2023. As you can see here, Antminer Z9 Mini, I am actually going to be getting rid of this quite soon, and I am going to be getting a shipment of, I have an Antminer uh, L3 Plus coming, so that mines script, so that will be for Doge or Litecoin, and then I have uh, three Antminer S9s coming, and one Antminer S9J coming, I believe it is. So I have a handful of new ones coming in, I'm sending this one out, I'm kind of venturing off into ASIC mining for a little bit here. I'm still obviously going to be doing GPU mining. As you can see, I have my rigs up and running still. I do Ravencoin mining on my GPUs, but I am switching kind of and focusing on ASIC mining just to widen my portfolio and just to bring new content to the channel. But sorry for kind of veering off there. I just kind of wanted to update you guys on that. But yeah, this is just for an overview of the Antminer Z9 Mini, as you can see here. Now, overall, I have used it quite a bit over like the years I've had, I guess. I've had it for about two years. And I can say it is a very nice home unit. It is meant for home use as the mini part. There is an actual Antminer Z9, but this mini version is for more so house use and using it at home because it only uses, I believe it's like 300 to 600 watts, something like that. I'll uh, look up the specific specs once we get onto the computer. But as you see here, you can just use a standard computer uh, power supply. I will remove it there. It's hard to see, but I will see if I can turn on my light. There we go. As you can see there, this is the one that's running it. This is a, normally the amp miner power supply. It's what's used to power the amp miners. But this one is a lot louder than the actual rig itself and it just makes so much noise. So I hooked up a actual power supply from a PC and it does just fine. It's about 850 watt, just to give it a little extra leeway. And how I have it running, I'm trying to get it out here. As you can see, I have it clipped off on the motherboard cable, so that way this can just power on whenever. I will be powering on this video, but I just want to go over everything here. But yeah, you can run them with just a standard 800 watt, maybe like 750 watt. But I would just go up and above and just get like an 850 watt to 1000 watt power supply. You can get the amp miner power supplies, but if you just have a spare one sitting around and one that preferably you can add like uh, all the cables in, as you can see there, so that way you can have enough to plug into the actual amp miner itself. So if we go up top here, as you can see, it's all hooked up. It requires a few GPU ports. It's one, two, three, four. So it's four. Um, I forget how many pin it is, one, two, I think it's a six pin, so just four six pin uh, cables it takes to power up, and like I said, I'll be deep diving into the specs on my computer, but I just want to show you guys what it takes to actually power it there. And the Antminer Z9 Mini does mine Equihash, uh, Equihash, or however you want to pronounce it, um, that's the algorithm it mines, so it mines uh, Zcash mainly. There are a few other smaller coins. I will be showing you that as well. But yeah, if you're looking for something for Zcash or Equihash, whatever algorithm, and a nice at-home miner, this is a recommended device. You can get a few of them and still be under what some GPU rigs run and everything. And as you see, this rig is 10 kilohash or kilosoles, whatever it is. I believe it's kilosoles or something like that. But that number is always going to tell you how powerful the amp miner is. But yeah, it doesn't consume much power. It runs pretty quietly. It doesn't produce much heat or anything. You can adjust the fan settings and everything on the dashboard and all that. Because when these run, obviously it hooks up to Ethernet right to the router. And then it has its own IP. And then you log into the dashboard. And then you can set all the settings and the pool information and things like that. It's nice because you can have these things kind of tucked away. I usually have this pushed under my desk here and the side panel up and on. Or you can have it up on the desk. You can have it with your GPU rigs even. But usually with the Antminer Z9 Mini, I picked this up a couple of years ago for around $100 to $150. Right now they're up around $200 plus for the Antminer Z9 Minis. You might be able to find them 
uh, for around 150 depending on where you are located at least in my area in Ontario Canada that's how much you're running for on like eBay and things like that is around $200 plus but like I said I got this a while ago they're not profitable right now obviously just like GPU mining for most part unless you have free electricity or really cheap electricity but I'll pull up a calculator on my computer so you can see all that but I will quickly fire this thing up and then we will get over to my computer so when you first power it on I just flicked it on it's gonna cycle through its power like it's startup and get everything make sure all its IP and all of its pool information is right. It gets loud at the start, but then once it actually gets booted up and runs through the sequence, it gets a lot quieter. So I'll pause it once it gets really loud here, but I just want to show you guys this full boot up and everything and how it all runs and sounds. But now it should start probably pumping out a lot louder, I assume here, because usually once these lights, so yeah, as you see there, that's it booting up and getting its sequence started. So if you can't hear my voice, but I will pause it now and once this is done and booted up, I will show you that. So now it went through its boot sequence and everything and now it's up and running. You can tell by the green flashing light here. These are your indicators. If there's a fault or an error, that red light will go off. But if everything is running normal and smooth, as you see, that green light flashes. But now I will jump over to my computer and we will take a look at the dashboard and everything. But here's a quick overview of it actually running. Overall, it is not that loud or anything. It's for an ASIC miner. Like I said, very compact, very quiet. Here's some more specs of it, but it's all in Japanese or Chinese, so it's kind of hard to read. But yeah, we'll go over to my computer now and I will show you all the dashboard and all the speeds and everything. It's currently mining Equihash and it's uh, being paid out in Zcash, so it's directly mining but I will show you that now. All right, so as you see, I'm over on my AntMiner dashboard here. This is gonna show you all the specs and everything, all the information, uh, all the way from the miner type, host name, the operating system model, uh, the kernel version, everything you need to know about it. And then down here is your memory. I believe it's like the RAM and stuff like that. And then you have your IP status. But then if you go over to miner configuration, this is where you're gonna set up all your mining pool and everything. So I guess you can call this like an overview, overview or a tutorial, but uh, as you see, you're going to put in your pool URL and then your worker name and then your password. And this is where you customize your fan percentage and then you click save and apply and then it'll cycle through the boot up once again. But if you come over to miner status here, this is where it's going to show you what's currently mining and all the information, the main info that you want to look at. So as you see, it's been up for three minutes here. It's running about 10.74 kilosoles uh 10.53 on average no blocks obviously because i'm pool mining and all other information here and then as you see here's all your pools you usually set multiple pools just so it can in case one fails it can jump to another pretty fast without shutting down or anything but as you see here it says if, if it's up and running and alive the difficulty and then all of your accepted shares your rejected all that you're going to have a lot of discarded and sometimes rejected shares off the start depending on your device I usually don't have too many. I usually have like one or two rejected off the hop. I get a few accepted, but you get a ton of discarded. Don't worry about that. That's nothing to really worry about. And then if you go down here, this is all of your temp information. So the chip and then the actual PCB board, it's going to show you all three of the boards and it's going to show you each temperature. I usually go off the temperature of the uh, chip here. So if it's running extremely high, then obviously you want to reduce the cooling. But usually mine runs around this temperature and I have no issue. And it shows you how fast the fan is running and everything. So you get the overall information from it here. Uh, it runs pretty good on Equihash. Like I said, 10 kilosoles. It's not too much, but nothing is really profitable right now. You can look up the power consumption. So Amp Miner Z9 Mini Power Consumption. And as you see, Amp Miner Z9 Mini is a bitman amp miner it runs 10 kilosoles a second or 10 souls a second whatever and then it utilizes 247 watts of power usage so nothing crazy like i said it runs around like 300 watts or more like i said to be safe usually you run a higher but as you see most of them here are about 300 watts so you could probably get a way to be safe with a 600 watt power supply but if you want to check out profitability i use the asic miner value page here and up top here, you can see, you can set your currency and everything. I'm going to do ca Canadian because obviously I'm in Canada. And I'm going to set my electricity rate, which is 
0.087 cents a kilowatt. Okay, or it's there, there we go. So eight cents. So as you see, it's 11 cents a day I make, but then it costs 58 cents in electricity. And then the profit's negative 46. A month, it costs me $13. I take $3, but then 17 in electricity. And then per year here. So it's not horrible. You're losing about 46 cents a day on about eight cents a kilowatt here. And that's Canadian. So obviously it's a little bit of a loss, but nothing dramatic. Being an at-home miner, it is nice because it's not using a high amount of power. But as you see, the profitability always ranges, obviously depending on the price of the market and how the algorithm is and how many people are on and just obviously everything involved with normal mining. This is just a dedicated device for that. I know this kind of turned into like a tutorial slash overview, but I just kind of wanted to go over every detail of the ant miner in case you decide to buy one or if you're just coming across this video just out of interest. And I just want to give the whole setup in case people are stuck somewhere with setting up a uh, Ant Miner Z9 Mini here, or just an Ant Miner in general. This gives an overview. This is a really good starting point if you want to get into ASIC mining. Like I said, only uses about 300 watts of power, as you see here. Very quiet, very efficient. Obviously, not like crazy efficient, but that's just because of price of crypto and everything. But you can have multiple of these running and still be under what a GPU rig really runs, and it's dedicated to one coin. And like I said, there's a few different coins. So if you look up Equihash um mining pool stats i think you can see what all is on there so if you click here so on the drop down here you're going to have asic equihash if you select it and these are all the coins you can mine on equihash and get paid out in obviously the main one is zcash you can directly mine that you can find a pool by going to mining pool stats here and you can get set up for your ant miner you can use the nice hash and stuff but right now with especially like the z9 mini it's not super powerful for it being like an at-home miner obviously it's not going to be crazy and powerful so you don't really want to mine like nice hash it's not worth converting once it converts over to bitcoin and stuff like that you end up losing a little bit more so you're better off direct mining zcash or pirate chain or something those are the popular ones when it comes to miner z9 mini but yeah, overall, a really nice unit. I've used it for a few years. I'm just expanding, so it's time for me to get rid of it. But I just want to make this video before I get rid of it. It being 2023 and mining being very up and down, more so down than up. And this kind of just gives you an overview. If you're looking for something affordable in the mining market, if you want to change it up and expand your portfolio, this is a good way to do it. There's a lot of different ASIC amp miners out there. There's a lot of different ASIC miners in general. I tend to stick to the Bitman ones and I tend to buy them used. It can be a risk, obviously, but that's the way I get them cheaper. Because right now, if you buy them brand new, sometimes it's just not worth it in this current mining market. And that's me even saying that. I get most of my things on a deal, either on like a marketplace on Facebook or eBay. The cheaper, the better, because in that way, it takes less to pay off. And all of a sudden, if there's a boom in the market, you're laughing because you got things cheap and things will pay off easier for you. Again, sorry, I know this video took a few different directions. But yeah, overall, hopefully this video brought some insight or information to you or even helped you in a way. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy this video, make sure that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you're enjoying my content. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.